we have finally made it. We have made it to Assassin's Creed 3. We are playing the game that I've been wanting to play forever. I don't want to talk too much about this. I just want to jump right into it. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Hit that like button if you do. Subscribe if you're new. And uh, let's get into it. Assassin's Creed 3. This is it! Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. So I had to pick up the remastered version only because I couldn't buy the DLC for the original game anymore. And obviously I'm going to want to play it eventually, right? And the only way to play that DLC is to buy the remastered version of the game. So here we are playing the remastered version. Apparently I didn't really have a choice. <laughs> I asked you guys like, which one do you want me to play? But at the end of the day, hold up. Yeah. This is fire. Mm. This gets me ready to play the game. This is our third numbered title for Assassin's Creed. And I'm, I'm excited. I'm ready. My body is ready. This was the one that we were waiting for. I'm a big fan of the Revolutionary War. So I'm excited to see old Ben Frank, George Washington, Charles Lee. I mean, there's got to be a lot of figures in this one, right? And we're going to be playing as a Native American assassin, which is nice. And this song hits. Anyways, I didn't have a choice. I had to just buy the remaster and it sucks, but it's okay. Let's play. We'll change the settings when we need to. I might get rid of the HUD, kind of like what I did in Assassin's Creed Revelations. So we'll see. All right. Sorry, we had to jam out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Used to be when people talked about the end of the world, we locked them up or laughed them off. Sometimes both, but we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. That was kind of cool. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found, all of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group. The same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. Was that Chesare? We know them as the Templars. As the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years. Even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. Altair. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything. To show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do, and the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching, bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him, to Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon, though, soon we'll know that ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be. 
when it 21, does, 12, 12. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. I kind of got a question though. How come William Miles can't use the apple? And find where the apple is. Look at Rebecca. They're all they all look different now. We're here. They're upgraded. My god, solar flare. <laughs> Let's go. Look at Sean. Okay, Sean. Everybody got a little bit of a touch up of for when it comes to their faces and such and their clothing. I like that. I mean, the graphics don't look that bad. They're okay. What's going on here? There it is. <laughs> Power. In another moment, down went Alice after it, never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. Is that an Alice in Wonderland quote? Oh, what just happened? Oh, what the heck? What was that? I like glitch. A glitch in the matrix? I heard that when this game came out, it was the top selling Assassin's Creed game at the time. And I think the only game to beat it was Valhalla. I do believe. I think Valhalla beat it. Maybe it was Origins. Wait, is Sean's hair? Okay, I, in, in one angle, it looked like it was dark brown, like my color of hair. Hey, why does the running feel so good? I like the running. As soon as I hold the right trigger, he just starts running. That's nice. Check this place out. Nice place you got here.
the key. You know. We must find the key. Son. Whoa, what the? Sir. James Holden? Here we go again. We're not even in the anime. Desmond? Uh-oh. Do you hear us? Uh, yeah. What happened? The temple triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. So naturally, you dropped me into the Animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay? You weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you. And I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Right. Of course. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. Just no idea where it is, though. I guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno. Juno. She's talking to me. Okay, Desmond. While you were, uh, visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. Okay. All right. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. Walk there? Look at this! Oh my god, the parkour is different! It's like automatic parkour now! Whoa! Okay, Desmond. Let's practice climbing on these objects. I don't have to hit any buttons other than right trigger. Oh my god, all I have to do is press forward! I don't have to hit A anymore? This is nice. Oh yeah, I, I, I like this. I like this a lot. Smooth. It feels really good. Free run your way through this little obstacle course. I think that's what I'm excited about. The more we go up in numbers of Assassin's Creed, the better the parkour is going to get. Well, until we get a little too far up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my God. The animations look so much more That's smooth. The These are optional they look objectives great. that raise your synchronization rate. All right, Desmond, follow the on-screen instructions and Ooh. kill the two Templars. Ooh, I like doing that kind of stuff nice oh here is jump the gap that was cool okay now i have to actually hit a button oh <laughs> it's so cool Whoa, 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 hold on. You know this you know what this reminds me of right now? Uh the game Mirror's Edge. I don't know if you guys have ever played that game. Okay, that felt weird right there though. There's a lot of HUD. Synchronization levels look good now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who is this guy? Time to find out what the temple wants from you. What? Who's, who's this guy? Why am I this guy? He looks British. Sir, everything all right, sir? Yes, fine. I'm just preoccupied. Hate them. Don't forget your invitation. Master Birch will be meeting you inside. Thank you. Where shall I retrieve you? That's a done? cool effect, though. Find the Opera House, and be quick about it. Don't expect to be here long. I'll bring her round at once. 
That's a really cool effect. James Holden. A deadly performance. Invitation, please. Shall I take your coat, sir? Yeah. I don't think we're in America right now. Okay, I have the leave the animus to read my email. I don't want to do that now. Can I blend in with people? No. Oh my God. Look at the attire. Everyone's got the nice wigs on. The wigs are nice. It looks like our guy has a, a natural hair style. Okay. What's going on over here? Do we have consent, sir? I'm wondering, just making sure. Oh, the music's awesome. So this guy's name is Haytham. Good evening, sir. This way, please. Did y'all troll me? Am I not playing as a Native American in this game? My apologies. He looks nothing like Desmond. Evening, Haytham. Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? Who? There's a lot of people in here. Oh, you have eagle vision? What? Who is this guy? He's an assassin? He's seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. You'll need to find another way up. I'm so confused. I have. Can you actually watch this? Is this like a whole stage like does it play out like that's kind of cool if so um it told me to go here okay this is all new and different reginald birch was a london merchant the son of another london merchant who conveniently enough also had the last name birch it seems it was one of those hard to put your finger on things that ran in the family birch started in business for himself at an early age by the time he was in his mid-twenties, he already owned several merchant ships, mainly dealing with the tea trade to the American colleges. Oh, okay, so we're trading tea. That's pretty good going. Seeing as by the time most people are in their mid-twenties, they don't own a shirt. I own shirts, and I was in my mid-twenties. I have him as part owner of the Providence. Among others, later in life, Birch also owned several businesses in and around London. He was a member of White's, which was a posh gentleman's club in London. A posh, a posh, <laughs> and generally a well-known and respected man about town. From what I can tell, Birch met Haytham Kenway while working for his father, Edward. They were introduced at White's while Haytham was still quite young. Birch would eventually take over Haytham's education tutoring him while on tour of Europe in the 1730s. From what we've seen in the Animus, it seems their friendship continued into adulthood, with them working together as members of the Assassins. Isn't that the name of the guy in Assassin's Creed 4? Um, isn't his name Kenway? A thousand pardons. So sorry. My apologies. Oh my gosh. He just sat the guy down. I know that much because I played the beginning of Assassin's Creed 4. A little bit I could play. So wait. It said Edward was this guy's father? So his name is Kenway. So he's related to the... The guy, the assassin, well, he's a fake assassin. 
An Assassin's Creed 4? What? I'm so confused. Why am I playing as him, though? Oh, look at all this. This is kind of cool. The game's kind of dark. I might have to brighten it in uh, the editing process, but... Hopefully it's not too bad for you guys. You can pick locks? What the heck? That's new. Oh, what the heck? We're actually doing stealth in this game, y'all. What is this? Okay, that wasn't the right angle, apparently. What? <laughs> Why am I so bad at this? Oh, now I have to rotate the right stick. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay, we got it. Now I understand how that works. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <gasps> ah! No one heard that? Okay. What the heck is the Beggar's Opera? I guess we should read about that real quick. Beggar's Opera opened in London in 1728. It's a musical, one of the earliest ever created. It was written by John Gay, a writer and friend of both Alexander Pope and Jonathan Swift. Oh, really? Two of the prominent literary figures of the day. Yeah. The opera was both popular and controversial. Popular partly because it was an excellent skewering of Italian opera, which was very popular at the time. However, instead of complicated Italian songs, the Beggar's Opera featured folk tunes that the audience could recognize meaning you could hum along even if you didn't know Italian. Okay. It was controversial because of the subject matter. It's set in the Newgate prison, and the main characters are all criminals who act much like the upper classes. It was a send-up of the British nobility, including veiled criticism of the head of government, neither of whom traditionally have a sense of humor. I've never met a queen who liked the knock-knock joke. Actually, I've never met a queen. Me either, Sean. The Beggar's Opera was accused of being a base form of entertainment, and... Because its main characters were criminals, accused of causing increase in crime. It's nice to see that criticism isn't just for movies and video games. Bloody opera corrupting our kids. <laughs> yeah, can you believe this opera? I swear, people will blame everything that they can except themselves. You got crazy people that shoot guns. They're not blaming people. They're blaming the guns. Your kids up here shooting schools. You're not. You're not blaming the kids or the parents. You're blaming the guns. Like, like stuff like that. It's like, come on. Take accountability. Y'all are crazy. Who's this guy? Hey, Phil. You should have come to me. We would have found another way. Yes. But then you would have known. Ha! <laughs> True. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. As am I. Oh. Oh. He's got a hidden blade, too. The heck is this? Oh my god, your eyes, boy. <laughs> That's creepy, bro. <laughs> he looks so creepy when he did that. He was the scariest looking man, dude. Okay, my controller disconnected for some reason. Let's keep going. Oh. 
Do they know it was me? I look too rich for people to suspect that it's me. Move, move. Try to remember. Peace, friends. There is no danger. It happened. We must leave at once. What are those men doing? I'm staying where it's safe. Excuse me, sir. Order. Oh crap. Okay. I need to go this way. Hey, this place looks nice though. Nice little theater we got here. Who, me? Oh. They stopped that guy. I guess because he's panicking. See, look, we we just look cool. We're just casually walking out of here. Oh wait, whoa, there's a lot of people here. Jeez, so many NPCs? The tech. It's definitely updated. I have a carriage? And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. This guy is cool. Shall we be all thin? Aye. To fleet and bride. By your command. This guy's actually really cool. I like how suave he is. He just hopped in the carriage and was like, eh. Fascinating. Opera kind of sucked. It was mid. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key. And if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge. Perhaps a weapon or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain. Whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is? Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command, although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at Charles your side, Lee! we'll want for nothing. That's he, well, Ben? Then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We've booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us all. Okay, excited. We're going to America. <laughs> There's going to be so many quotes in this. Oh, I'm going to love it. I'm more knowledgeable about the Civil War, but I like the Revolutionary one. I have some knowledge of it. The environments look really good. Like the water looks good. The boat looks very detailed. Even our character here looks really nice. Hate them. I could play as this dude. The Providence. Let's check it out. The Providence was one of many sailing ships in the British Merchant Navy, which basically means it was a trade ship rather than one meant for war. 
You'll notice it's carrying cannons, but those are mainly for protection against pirate or privateer vessels, or for turning the ship into a privateer vessel should the need arise. The ship was built in 1748 and made several trips a year between Britain and the North American colonies, with occasional visits to the West Indies. The manifest doesn't indicate anything particularly interesting. Mostly it carried staples like tea, molasses, and cloth. It's captained by its part owner, one Samuel Smythe, or Smith, Smythe, who got something of a reputation among sailors for both cruelty to his crew and penny pinching on rations. Oh, it's always the cheap ones, right? Incidentally, that's not exactly a way to keep good sailors on board. Nope, not at all. The crew is probably both inexperienced and disgruntled. Ideally, you want an experienced crew who are hugely gruntled. Although you likely don't know much about running an 18th century sailing vessel, odds are you won't notice a difference. But I'll tell you what I do know. I know good business. And for your business to thrive, you gotta take care of your employees. And if you don't take care of your employees, your business is gonna be screwed. Okay. And what what are these die? It's like a board game or something. Bonarona is believed to have originated in Madagascar. Really, it was played on a nine row by five column board of intersecting lines. Each player places 22 black or white pieces on the board. It sounds like chess in a way. Or maybe not even chess, but uh, checkers. Then tries to capture the opponent's pieces by moving his along the lines and either approaching an opposing stone or withdrawing from one. Okay. Capturing moves are mandatory. If no capturing move is possible, the player can move one piece to a neighboring entity slot. If a capturing move is possible after taking opponent's pieces, the player can keep chaining moves until no further capture is possible. It is forbidden for a piece to move to the same slot two times in one turn. Okay. Well, uh, I'm not that good at board games. Sorry, game. Maybe I'll play that eventually, though. Good morning, Doctor. To you as well. A question, if I may. Do you serve aboard the ship, or are you simply taking passage? A bit of both, actually. I've been commissioned by the Royal Navy to study maritime illness. I'll be observing the crew during the journey. We have found that uh, sailors fare far better on the open seas than the rest of us. I hope to discover why that is. Well, I hope you are successful in your endeavors. As do I. Thank you for the kind words. Imagine you just sailing on a boat like this for months on end. Ew. It probably smells super bad. Everyone's sick. I just could not imagine it, man. It does not sound fun. A moment to talk? Ah, a fellow Londoner. Good to see I'm not the only man of means aboard. Rupert Martin, pleased to meet you. Haytham Kenway. Pleasure. Seems we picked an excellent time to leave the city. Oh? You didn't hear about the murder at the Opera House? No. What happened? They're still trying to sort it all out. And I suspect they'll be at it for a good long while. Any word on the moat? They've ruled out robbery. So perhaps it was a business arrangement gone sour. Or something more personal. More lurid. Who knows? But I am glad to be away from it. The city grows more dangerous by the day. Yeah, I know nothing about that. <laughs> But our guy here is really chill. I like his little purple rolly things. You see him? His little, his little hair rollers. They're purple. It's kind of cute. Purple's my favorite color. <laughs> That's why I have a purple cell phone case. Anyways. I mean, imagine, imagine you just wanting to look so good. You put your hair up in these little... <laughs> <laughs> These rollers, bro. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, look at these guys. Gotta love it, man. Fashion was popping back then. Oh, look at these. We got a pig, some goats, some sheep. I gotta look at all the meats. That looks very sanitary. <laughs> ah. 
I know all about the Atlantic Ocean, let me tell you. Oh, they're working hard. Everyone's working and stuff. This is really detailed. I like it. Captain. Mr. Kenway. I just wanted to thank you again for taking me aboard and apologize for any inconvenience it may have caused. Inconvenience would be an understatement. I'm sorry, I don't follow. My ship was held in port for two days that we might accommodate you. I lost several contracts as a result. I had no idea. Of course not. You nobles are all the same. Have you guys seen that wax figure of the rock? The recent one that they made of the rock? That's what everyone looks like in this game. <laughs> That's what everyone looks like in this game, bro. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on screen. And then all will be well. You sure about that? Of course. Have I ever led you astray? Nah. No, you don't sit right with the others. Have faith, my friend. You'll see. Well, well. Seems our esteemed guest has deigned to grace us with his presence. You might want to head back to your quarters. Top deck's no place for tender parnells. Wait, y'all about to fight me? So I thought. Word? And yet here you are. Fancy yourself a joker, eh? Let's see how funny you find this. Uh-oh. That's enough, Graves. They're actually going to fight me. All right, this is the first time we've gotten a fight. In hand combat, let's go. How, how does this work? Hold B? Oh, okay. Press X to attack. Oh, hold up. What the heck? Oh my God. The combat is different. Thinks he can swagger on up here and declare himself king of the castle. Swagger on, on up. Hold this off. If the captain sees us. The hell with the captain. And the hell with you, Mills. Who signed you on anyway? Come on then. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know Ken May. Ken May had it in him. This is unwise. <laughs> what is that? You think I'm afraid of you? No. But you should be. I didn't know my boy Hatham had it in him. You saw that? That was a straight up drop kick. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> a DDT? Never. <laughs> oh. How do you like these odds? I like them. WWE Superstar What's the meaning of this? Captain Explain yourself at once, Mr. Kenway These fought We were simply passing the time with a bit of sport, Captain How about you pass the time by doing your goddamn jobs instead? I wasn't aware I was paying you to loll about A word, please, Mr. Kenway Oh, I nearly forgot. There's your knife back. <laughs> this does not look like a guy who would just drop kick people in DDT. I don't care <laughs> like... you, Mr. Kenway. I've had nothing but trouble since you came aboard. Your problems have nothing to do with me. I beg your pardon. You're a poor leader, ill-tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew has no risk. We just read about that. Look. I don't want to argue. In fact, I need a favor. Oh, this is rich. I suspect some of the men intend to mutiny. Really? What a surprise. As I cannot trust any of them, I am compelled to turn to you. And why should I help you? Because if they do intend to betray, I'm the only hope you have of reaching America alive. Well, what will it be? If what you say is true, what other choice do I have? Thank you. But let me be clear. Should you ever dare to insult or threaten me again, I'll not hesitate but to cut off your head myself. Your lord. I understood. Excellent. Good day. Oh my days, oh my days. Oh my days. Day 28. 
That's a long time on a boat. What do you even do? Mr. Kenway. Captain. Whatever they're up to, I believe it's coming to a head. I'd best get to work. He just leaves that out in the open where people can get it. All right, we got to investigate the crew. He's cut our rations again. Claims we're not provisioned for such What was that board game? Danganronpa or Persona? Like <laughs> I forgot what it was called. On a Rompa? You looking for another fight? That it? Go away. The way he just looked away. Lewis Mills. Lewis Mills is a deckhand originally from where we British somewhat optimistically call Sunny Brighton. He got his love of the sea from his father, who was also a sailor. His first took young Lewis to sea with him at the age of 10, sailing from London to Boston on a vessel named the Windward. As he grew older, Mills kept working as a merchant marine, traveling the world and gaining a reputation as a reliable and level-headed sailor. He joined the crew of Providence in 1752, staying with the captain and crew through a variety of hardships, though by 1755, he was thinking of moving on. Oh, look at that. We have Ezio in here. Hey, hey, I'm here. They're dancing with each other. Okay, I like this. We're out here with the shanties. I got nothing to say to you. All right, nobody wants to talk to me. Let's keep it real. You there. I have some questions for you. That's nice, but I ain't got time to gossip. Probably wouldn't have anything useful to share anyway. You want information? Try the cook or the doctor. Everyone's always chatting them up. Sure. The doctor. The doctor's over here. A doctor, if you have a moment. Have you taken it? Oh, nothing like that. I was wondering if you'd heard any rumblings of trouble aboard. What sort of trouble? Unusual complaints or grievances. Men taking issue with the captain. You or the sound passengers. just like James. Like I told him, I've been much too busy with my research to notice anything not work related. And where might I find James? The galley's your best bet. Now, if you'll excuse me. The attention to detail is kind of nice. Like you can see that the wind's blowing into the boat or the ship. And it's also like rustling our uh, clothing and such, which is kind of nice. Especially for uh, a game to come out. When when did this game come out? Like Xbox 360, Xbox One? Are you James? Hi. Atham Kenway. Pleased to meet you. I know who you are. I was hoping you could answer some questions. I figured as much, but not here. Follow me. So oh, what do you want to know? Have you seen or heard anything out of the ordinary since we left port? Anything that gives cause for concern? Some of the men have been gathering at night on the upper deck. I've only caught bits of their conversations, so I couldn't say for certain what they're up to. But I suspect it bodes ill. Is it a mutiny they're planning? All I know is they've little love for the captain. Mills has been trying to talk him down, but there's only so much one man can do. Yeah, understandable. Thank you for the information. I only wish to see us reach the colonies alive. I would hope so. But this captain sounds like a real tool. 
You know, something that I really like about the gameplay now is how you counter. So you can use one button to disarm or you can use the other button to counter attack, which is so cool. Evening, sir. How are things? Calm and quiet. Just the way I like it. What brings you topside? Thought I'd wander a bit. Stretch my legs. That's all. Take care where you tread. The deck hides all manner of danger in the dark. What was that? Someone's throwing cargo overboard. But why? Not my tea. I need my tea. Are they alerting someone? Like, is that a signal? What? What do you mean by that? Do they know that I'm investigating? What the heck? Quite the basting you gave Graves and Quill. Wasn't by choice. Aye. Blockheads, the both of them. Where are my manners? Louis Mills. Pleased to meet you. Atham Kenway. So, should I be watching my back? I think the boys learned their lesson. They're normally not so nasty. Honest, it's just the past few crossings have been a bit rough. Oh? Captain's trying to cut costs, reduce rations, lower wages, more dangerous cargo. It's put the crew on edge. Is there cause for concern, then? Not if I can help it. But the captain needs to think about the way he treats his men. I know, we've seen that. I've heard, I've heard. I mean, maybe that wasn't a signal because... Who would you be alerting or signaling all the way out here in the middle of the Atlantic? Claims were not provisioned for such luxuries. It's not right that you should feast on lamb and wine. What's this? Oh, wait, they're painting X's on it, though? Curious. Hmm. Maybe using those as markers? Most curious. I don't know. K33. Any news? Each night it's the same. I scout one area, and they drop the painted barrels from another. I'm going to need to recruit an extra pair of eyes. Maybe James or Mills. Why are they doing this? Near as I can tell, the barrels serve as markers. Markers? They're leaving a trail. My fear is it's only a matter of time before whoever's following it. Oh! Shit! Sighted aft! She's making ready to fire! Beat to quarters, men! Ready the... Brace! Everybody down! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Who is this, though? Who did they signal? A uh, warning shot! Seems they don't mean to sink us, but board us instead! What the heck? Man the cannons! Make ready to fight! I want you below decks! Why? Let me help you secure the ship. Do you know how to rig a sail? To load a cannon? To wage war at sea? I didn't think so. Now return to your cabin. Or do I need to have you escorted? I was just helping you, ass. Secure the hatch! Hate him. Have you been topside? A ship's appeared and means to board us. It's strange. There's no sign of mutiny aboard. Doesn't make sense. Ah, but it does. What do you mean? Did you think you could escape from London so easily after what you did at the opera? Oh, he knows. 
that we wouldn't follow? Ah. So that's what this is about. Surrender, and I will see that you are treated with honor. If you wish to treat me with honor, give me a sword. Are you sure this is how you want to play it? I guess we're fighting him one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, did he not see me drop kick his homies? And on top of that, DDT the other one? I mean, he saw. He was just talking about it the other day. All right, bro. Whatever. Let's get it then. Oh, shoot. Oh, this is cool. Um, I don't know what to do, though. Oh, nice. Oh, Ooh, I'm fighting with the camera right now. Hold on. Did I disarm him so I can disarm him like this? Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, that's so cool. All right. All right, there's nothing I can do there. I can throw him. Fight with the camera again. Come on. Bro, come on. You're getting cooked. Oh, look at that. I can break his defense. Oh, this is a nice little tutorial here, guys. I can't kill him yet, though. That's why he keeps hitting me. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, what? What the heck was that? Uh. That was wild. Oh. <laughs> I told you to stay below decks. I did as you asked. Only Mills was there waiting for me. He's the one that drew that ship here. There was no mutiny. Only him. What do they want? Me. Then they can have you. Oh? Is that so? They'll catch us anyway. There's nothing to be done. Oh, well, he popped open his something. blade. You saw that? You wish us to sail into the storm. It's our only chance. I won't do it. <sighs> then I will. All right. All right. This guy's crazy. Am I good or bad? I mean, this captain is on one, but I'm kind of on one too. I don't think this is going to go well. We're in a storm. We need those ropes secured. I told you this was bad. Calm yourself. I'll fix your sail for you. Oh my God, this is another season of Deadliest Catch. I've seen this on Discovery Channel. Watch me. I got this. Whoa, this is kind of cool. Oh, I love this, dude. This is super cool. All right, this one over here. I don't know where he's pulling that out of, but all right. <gasps> Another one broke. That's not good. I didn't mean to do that jump. He just did it. the sail oh i gotta go up how do i get up there i guess here come on you got this can i go around yes i can yes sir all right let's see if we can grab this guys deploy the sail the atlantic ocean is rough man I don't like water. Uh, 
Oh God, this guy's gonna die. I got you, man. Just wait. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Woohoo! Oh, oh, thank you, thank you. I knew I liked you, James. Oh, they didn't make it. Guys, I am terrified of water. I'm scared of drowning. I like going to the beach. I don't like going in the ocean. I like looking at the ocean. If I'm ever on a plane and we crash in the ocean, I just hope I die. I hope I don't drown. Like, I hope I die, like, some other way. Like, I run out of oxygen or something, or, like, I pass out. You know what I mean? Like, if those little things came down, I wouldn't suck the air or nothing. I'd be like, nah, I'm dead. Ain't no way. Ain't no way I'm hitting that water, bro. <laughs> ain't no way I'm hitting that water. I, I'll just pass out. Make ready for our arrival, men. Arrival? I see no land, only this interminable fog. The gulls tell us all we need to know. Climb into the crow's nest and you'll see. Climb the foremast? That sounds fun. I feel like we should immerse ourselves a little bit, guys. Shouldn't shouldn't we? Uh, let's go into the options real quick. Let's let's immerse ourselves a little bit because we did that in the last game. So let's do it again. Um. Sure. I don't want no health bar. Notoriety, sure. Why not? Mini map, yeah. We gotta have a map. That'd be ridiculous. Updates we need. Weapon and tools. We're cool on that. But yeah, let's get rid of this. And yeah, let's do that. Let's rock. Let's rock. Let's, let's feel a little immersed. That's how you start a game. That is how you start a mother f game. That title screen was awesome. Boston, 1754. Boston is such a beautiful city. Master Kenway. Master Kenway. Yes, may I help you? Charles Lee, sir. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. I've been asked to introduce Charles! you to the city. Help you settle it. Oh, no need, sir. I've arranged for your bags to be delivered to the inn. Are you by any chance John and Isabella's son? One and the same. Your commission is with Edward Braddock, is it not? Aye. But he's yet to reach America, and I figured I might... Well... At least until he arrives, I thought. <laughs> yes, out with it. Forgive me, sir. I had, I had hoped that I might study Hello, under you. Sir. If I am to serve the order, I can imagine no better mentor than yourself. Kind of you to say. Oh, sure. But I think you overestimate me. Impossible, sir. Wow. This way. Thief! Someone stop him! Oh, what the heck? Should I do that? No. Dude, look at this. 
Look how they captured the colonial era. This is this is nuts. You see the ragged like British flags? Quite Those are so city. cool. There's all manner of things to see and do. Wow. Once you settled in, I suggest you take some time to walk the streets. Who knows what opportunities you might discover? Bro, I just oh, need time money. to soak in Especially this. To, to bask in this. I'll arrange for horses while you do that. Look at this. Bro, I am freaking out. I am I am like internally freaking out right now. This is amazing. This is unreal. Literally unreal. Look, look at that. There's rats in the street. Look at that. Oh, there's actually kids in this game. There weren't kids in like any of the other games, really. Like you didn't see them walking around, that is. Wow. Oh my God. Hi. Oh, don't tell me you're going to beg. Are you, are y'all the new beggars? Gosh, darn it. You know, funny things, uh, funny story about Charles Lee. Well, it's not really funny, but he, he really wanted to be commander in chief, but, uh, <laughs> we all know who the true commander in chief ended up being, not him. My boy, George took that spot. Sorry, Charles. We still love you, though. Oh, look at that. That was cool. A little interesting animation. What is this? Oh my God, guys. I'm going to, I'm going to get so immersed in this game. I'm here. Boston letters. to deliver the letters Spriggs, this accursed city will be the death of me it's you seem troubled friend that's because i am greatly so in fact what's happened i was robbed the old balkan file though i've managed to restore what's mine i fear it's ruined you mean the book this is no ordinary book it's an almanac the first i ever wrote <clears throat> Benjamin Franklin, pleased to meet you. Haytham Kenway. You must be new to Boston. Why do you say that? You're still possessed of virtue. <laughs> to stop and help an old lout like myself. I... I don't mean to impose, but... You seem a spry fellow. Should you happen to find my missing pages, I'll reward you. Okay. Look, I'm not sure if I... It's all right, all right. If you have the time, hurrah. If not, hurrah. no harm done. The thing is useless in its current state anyway. But should you somehow manage to restore it, you'll find me inside that general store over there. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll come to your store. That was interesting. You know what's really funny? It's like... You know when you go to see like a Marvel movie, a new Marvel movie, and there's like a cameo appearance and it's like, like, let's just say Spider-Man shows up and they, they have that second where like you see Spider-Man and he stands in frame and like everybody in the theater is like clapping and screaming. They're like, oh my God, Spider-Man. Like that, this, that's me with this game, bro. <laughs> like I saw Benjamin Franklin and I'm like, man, it's Ben. <laughs> These are the real heroes. <laughs> These are the true heroes. What the heck are you talking about? We should be getting hype, bro. Ben Franklin, like, dang. My boy, Ben. Benjamin Franklin was a renowned inventor, diplomat, and one of the signers of the Declaration of Independence. Translation, he was a rock star of the age. That's what I'm saying, man. Imagine if you saw Benjamin Franklin, you'd be asking for his autograph. Benjamin Franklin was born in Boston in 1706, the 10th son of a soap maker. Ten sons. I guess his parents couldn't afford a television, and also there was no television. <laughs> he began working for his brother in 1718 as an apprentice printer. However, <laughs> their relationship was rocky, particularly after the elder Franklin found out that young Benjamin had been writing for the paper under a pseudonym, Silence Do Good, and writing an extremely popular column at that. Human nature being what it is, the fact that the column was popular was probably the bigger problem. Benjamin ran away in 1723 and headed for Philadelphia, where he continued his career in printing and writing, 
eventually buying the Pennsylvania Gazette. The business, I mean, not just a copy. That would have been one of his lesser achievements. He stayed in Philadelphia for most of his life, that is, when he wasn't making extended trips to Europe. What was he doing over there in Europe? Franklin had a talent for persuasion, and that made him an ideal diplomat. In 1757, he went to London to represent Pennsylvania in an ongoing legal battle with the Penn family. It was the first of several extended political trips to Britain, and he would act as the state representative for Massachusetts, Georgia, and New Jersey as well. In fact, Franklin was in Europe for most of the revolution, though he was in the colonies to help with the writing of the Declaration of Independence. Franklin was a vocal opponent of British impositions on the colonies, like the Stamp Act, and although he first fought for the rights of colonists as British citizens, he eventually became convinced, like many of the Founding Fathers, that independence was the only real solution. Unfortunately, Franklin's change of heart made him clash with his son, William, who served as the royal governor of New Jersey. William remained an active loyalist. The father and son never spoke again. When he wasn't founding a new nation and destroying his family in the process, Franklin was a scientist, inventing things like bifocals and more efficient wood stoves when he wasn't mapping the Gulf Stream and discovering how electricity worked. What have you done today? Made yourself a microwave meal and sat about in your underwear? Oh, well done you. He was also quite the lady killer. Jesus, this guy carrying on several friendships with women while he was in Europe. That's what he was doing in Europe. I knew, I knew it had to be something crazy. I knew he had a, a, a couple little entanglements going on. The records don't say what exactly they saw in him. Certainly not his looks. Maybe women like a man who's intelligent. Why, 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 why do people always think that women only like good looking men? It's not always about appearance. Let me tell you. If that was true, I wouldn't be here. I'd be in Portugal surrounded by them and you'd be looking at a blank screen. You just need, you just need to know how to talk to women. That's all that it is. At the end of the day, you got a little bit of suave to you. You know what I mean? Your, your appearance is at least decent. Hey, you might be able to pick up a couple girls. I'm saying though. You know, it's funny that he was a state representative for Georgia because Georgia was the, uh, the state of the debtors. Right? <laughs> the home of the debtors. The people that owed London money. Deliver the letters in Boston. So I just hit B. That's it. Okay. Easy enough. Yeah, I used to live in Georgia and, uh, Man, we had to learn a lot of, we had to learn a lot about, um, the Revolutionary War when I lived there and the Civil War too. I actually lived on Kennesaw Mountain, which was, I want to say the first battle, the first major battle in Georgia between the North and the South and was, uh, was a pivot. It was a pivotal battle. So... The North winning that was pretty much the decider of if they were going to win or not. Wait, hold on. Is there another one? Sorry, I'm like trying to multitask here. That's why I'm pausing and such. Uh, Where am I supposed to go? Oh, all the way out into the water? Excuse me? You know, I actually heard that... I don't know if it's the Smithsonian or if it's a different museum, but they actually had like a display of Assassin's Creed three showing what it's like to live in the colonial era era using this game. I remember seeing that somewhere. Maybe I read that up on Reddit or something. I don't remember. I think it was the Smithsonian though. You guys can always correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I'm not always going to be right. And I don't claim to always be right, so. Alright, nice. Like, imagine going to the Smithsonian and, like, or any kind of museum. And, like, you go to the colonial era section of that museum and like you just see Atham 
walking through. And the camera like panning around showing all of this. That'd be so cool. I'd, I think I would freak out. I'd be like, oh my god, I know that game. I played it before. Whoa, that's the screen. I definitely have to nerd out. Oh, it looks like we can play that board game here if we want to. It's over here. All right, let's go to the mission, though. Yeah, the tech seems really good in this game. Like, the animations, you running around and such. Everything's really fluid and just nice. I did notice you can't push people, though. Like, there's no more manual shove. Okay, apparently he wants me to buy a sword. Because I have no sword. Yes, I will buy. That looks like a rusty, dusty sword, but I'll take it. What firearms we got? Oh, the flintlock pistol. It's going to be really hard to reload this thing. Because of the time it takes to reload after every single shot. Yeah, many people will carry two or more pistols at the same time. By crafting a pistol sheath with two holsters to add and carry a second pistol. I don't talk about it much, but I'm really into guns. I am. I'm sorry. I only want, I only own one gun, one gun though. Only one. For my safety, for my protection. But, um, I do like guns. Release RB to exit the weapon wheel. All right. Uh, oh, I could change this side too. There we go. But how do I use guns? Press D-pad in a direction. Oh, okay. That's cool. Follow Lee to the dragon, or uh, the green dragon on horseback. There's do How did I not notice dogs? There's dogs in this game. We can pet dogs? <laughs> we can Is that a cat? I love cats. Can I oh, no, no, no. I want to pet the cat. I want to pet the cat. No, move, dog. I'm sorry. I love you, but... And wait, wait, wait. No, move, you pig. Move. No, I'm, I want to touch the cat. Why won't you let me touch you? Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't pet him. He just brushes on his ankle. It's still cute, though. All right. We ride for the Green Dragon Tavern. The proprietors are Ooh. eccentric, but the rooms are spacious and they do not pry. Have you been told why it is I've come to Boston? No. Master Birch said I should know only as much as you saw fit to share. He sent me a list of names and bade me ensure you could find them. And have you had any luck with that? I, William Johnson, waits for us at the Green Dragon. William Johnson, huh? Know him? Not well, but he saw the order's mark and did not hesitate to come. Prove yourself loyal to our cause. And you may yet know our plans as well. I should like nothing more, sir. Like, there's something in me. Well, actually, I shouldn't. I probably shouldn't say this. There's something in me that wants to live in this era, but at the same time, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> but it does look really cool. You know what I mean? Like you, you see the people and how they're dressed and how they're just walking in the streets. It just seems like an easy life. But uh, yeah, maybe easy life for some people <laughs> let's go french cutlass we're getting all these new weapons what the heck we just started we started the game you lying cheating no good son of a bitch perhaps we've come at a bad time she's cute oh don't be foolish dearies please sit Fancy something to eat? A drink, perhaps? Or is it a bed you require? We've already let rooms here. Uh, oh, yes. I think we're good. Uh, of course. Masters Lee and Kenway, uh, was it? Uh, I'll have your bags brought up. Uh, 
Do you require anything further? Only you looking at that? Why are you looking at Aunt Jemima over there? Uh-uh, not me. This way. Hey, Charles, you can have that. Be good. We straight chilling. That's all you, homie. William Johnson. Let's read about him. William Johnson was a land speculator and Britain's principal treaty negotiator with the indigenous peoples in the northern part of the colonies, particularly the Iroquois. Johnson was born in Ireland, but moved to the colonies in 1738 to look after his uncle's property on the Mohawk River. However, it wasn't long before Johnson branched out into business for himself, acquiring property on the opposite side of the river and setting up a sawmill and trading posts, which he named Mount Johnson. Ah, creative, isn't he? which to me always sounds like mating instructions from a caveman. In 1743, he moved to an even larger, larger parcel of land, which he named Fort Johnson. This guy is creative. He may have been an excellent businessman, but it's possible he lacked an, <laughs> an imagination. Yeah, he did. Johnson befriended the indigenous people in the area, particularly the, I can't say that, whose language he learned. His respect for their customs helped him rise to prominence as liaison between the Iroquois peoples and the British government. Johnson was named superintendent of Indian affairs in 1756 as a contact who knows the land and its people. He's probably the best you'll find. Well, that's good. Sir, William Johnson. A pleasure. A good lad, if a bit earnest. I'm told you're putting together an expedition. We believe there's a precursor site in the region. I require your knowledge of the land and its people to find it. Sadly, my research has been stolen. Without it, I'm of no use to you. Then we'll find it. Do you have any leads? My associate, Thomas Hickey, has been making the rounds. He's quite good at loosening tongues. Well, tell me where I can find him. I'll see if I can't speed things up. We've heard rumors of bandits operating from a compound southwest of here. You'll likely find him there. Charles? Sir. We'd best be off. Of course. Here we go. I'm thinking about if I'm related to him or not. My family's last name is Johnson. Wonder if we have some connection, some ties. Maybe? Am I related to William Johnson? No. I might be. Okay. What's this guy doing? Johnson's errand. What's going on here? Starting the missions is weird in this game. Thomas Hickey? Who's asking? Haytham Kenway. Is that supposed to mean something? Show some respect, boy. Peace, Charles. William Johnson sent us in the hopes we might expedite your search. But don't need no expediting. Don't need none of your fancy London speak, neither. I found the men that done the theft. Then why are you just lazing around? You sound like you're from London, too. Figuring out how to deal with those varlets. I have an idea. Well, let's hear it. I'll kill the lookout, take up a position behind the guards. Uh, you two approach from the front. When I open fire on the group, you charge in. We'll have the element of surprise on our side. Half will fall before they've even realized what's happened. I like it. Good idea. Okay. Get into position. But wait Nobody heard that? To take the first shot. Nobody heard that loud gun. Oh my God, did you see him? Oh my God. He bit open the gunpowder bag. That's so cool. I love the detail there. All right, I got to pick one of these up. You make us mad. <laughs> I only got one shot this, guys. And then we got to reload. 
Not very convenient. Ouch. Press Y to reload. All right. I'll see you next year for the next shot. <laughs> like for real. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna shoot this guy actually. Oh, they're coming after me. Yep. Okay, how do... Oh, geez. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. Whoa, this is cool. <laughs> this is a, this is awesome. Okay, I still gotta reload. Fall back! Fall back! We'll be safe inside! The combat is sick, dude. What now? We can blow the door with those. Go on, shoot them. Oh, the kegs over here. All right, hold on. Give me a second. Reload this bad boy. I wonder how gunpowder tastes, man. That must be awesome to have in your mouth. <laughs> On with the show, then. Guess they wasn't so safe inside after. Jeez, we blew them up. There's a chest. Oh, it's over here. Lay down your weapons, and I'll consider letting you live. I thought he shot Charles. I make you the same offer. We've no quarrel. I only wish to return this chest to its rightful owner. Nothing rightful about Mr. Johnson. I won't ask again. Agreed. Bro, come on. We only got one shot. Whoa, reflex shot. That was cool. Okay. Oh, he's about to shoot me. Woo! That was super cool. Yeah, the combat in this is fun. Your kind has no need for books and maps. Who put you up to this? Never seen a person. It's always been dead drops and letters. But they always pay, so we do the jobs. Well, those days are done. Tell your masters I said as much. Who should I say you are? You don't. They'll know. This guy is fire. I like this, this guy. Got some shot on him. You might want to be grabbing it on account of your pistol being parched. Oh wait, you can loot him. Shame so many have to die. Ah, uh, back to the green dragon then. I need a drink. A lot of HUD in this game. I don't like it. <laughs> I have an issue with it. Okay, let's grab this. Don't let go of the chest, Charles. We'll take care of this rebel. Oh. Okay, switching into combat. Stop them, Thomas. That's not what I wanted to do, but that's fine. Oh wait. Oh, what are you doing? Wait. Them bodies is sure to have loot on them. Would be a shame to let it all go to waste. Are you mad? In case you've forgotten, we're in the midst of something. Oh, why is you always gotta go and spoil the spoil? I mean, he's not wrong though. Let's loot. Oh, but they're walking away, so maybe I don't want to do that. We will be looting a lot in the future, though. Don't worry. I like how casually he's just holding that gun. <laughs> he's he's walking like it weighs nothing. Oh. Oh, jeez. Jeez. Can I? How do I? Oh, wait. What? Okay. I'm gonna have to figure some things out with this gameplay. Oh, wait, there's guys.
I got the skill, baby. Why reload when you can just pick up a gun? Come on now. It's just a few fools with knives. They ain't so tough. It's not the scoundrels I'm concerned with. Yeah, reloading in this game's dumb. You just shoot somebody and then you... you pick up their gun. Sounds like the smart way to play it. Okay, that's how I shoot. How far can this pistol shoot, though? Far enough, I guess. Oh! Wait, 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 wait! I'm so confused. What the... What? It's like I go in and out of combat. Like, I'm not even trying to do that. It's just happening. Oh, crap. All right, we're going to go over here. Oh, wait, can I? Oh, that's cool. That's what I've been waiting for. You can lean against walls. Oh, yes. This has changed the game. Oi, Mr. Johnson's going to need to double my pay after all this if he expects me to keep at his side. How do you... Lock onto someone. I feel like it's not left trigger like it used to be. My thanks, Master Kenway. No. Tell me what it is you'll need. The images on this amulet, are they familiar to you? Perhaps one of the tribes has shown you something similar. It appears Kanye and Gahaga in origin. Kanye and Kahaga. Can you trace it to a specific location? I need to know where it came from. With my research returned, perhaps. Let me see what I can do. Thomas! Whoa. Rent yourself a room. And a bath as well. <laughs> I suspect we'll be here for a while. This game has a lot of humor. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We got the good music in here. Right, let me go outside a little bit. For a little bit. For a little bit. Let me look around what we got. Interactive conversation. Vigilantes. All right. I was just wondering if there's any like side quests or anything like that. Tell me about yourself, William. What's to tell? I was born in Ireland to Catholic parents, which I learned early in life severely limited my opportunities. So I converted to Protestantism and journeyed here at the behest of my uncle. But I fear my uncle Peter was not the swiftest of men. He sought to open trade with the Kanyan Gahaga, but chose to build his settlement away from the trade routes instead of on them. I tried to reason with the man, but <sighs> as I said, not the swiftest. So, I took what little money I'd earned and bought my own little plot of land. I built a home, a farm, a store, and a mill. Humble beginnings, but well situated, which made all the difference. So this is how you came to know the Mohawk? Indeed. 
and it has proved a valuable relationship. But still no mention from your contacts of the Precursor site? No hidden temple or ancient constructs? Yes and no. Which is to say, they have their fair share of sacred sites. Earthen moons, forest clearings, hidden caves. But nothing matching what you describe. No strange metals. No odd glows. Hmm. It is well hidden. Even to them, it seems. But cheer up, my friend. You'll have your precursor treasure. I swear it. To our success, then. And soon. Imagine by like 20 years old, you own a mill, a house, a farm. Oh, you know, maybe you can buy a river. You know? <laughs> like, oh, wow. That'd be awesome. Won't be much longer. Buy a river and put your name on it too, you know? Why not? Evening, gentlemen. Uh. Charming. Oh, peace, Charles. He'll grow in you. Oi! Catherine, you fussock! Get back here! Daddy needs a drink. Bruh. How fares the search? Maths and maps are not cutting it. What of your local contacts? We'll need to earn their trust before they'll share what they know. <clears throat> I have an idea on how we might be affecting that. There's a man who's taken to enslaving natives. Rescue them, and they'll owe us. <laughs> Do you know where they're being held? Afraid not. <laughs> Benjamin Churchwill. He's a finder and a fixer. He's also on your list. And there I was, wondering whom I might solicit next. Well done. Charles Lee likes that, man. He really wants that girl. I mean, if you want her, sure, bro. Do you like it here, Charles? There's a certain charm to Boston, I suppose. To all of the colonies, really. Granted, their cities have none of London's sophistication or splendor. But the people are earnest and hardworking. They've a pioneer spirit I find compelling. It's quite something, really, watching a place that's finally found its feet. Has it, though? The French still wage war from up north. And I fear the Spanish have designs upon this place as well. Is this a new world? Or just another battlefield? Maybe both. Oh, that's a story old as time itself. And one that's not like to change. We're cruel and desperate creatures, set in our conquering ways. Mm. The Saxons and the Franks, the Ottomans and Safavids. Mm -hmm. I could go on for hours. The whole of human history is but a series of conflicts and subjugations. A desire for more and more. And more and more. And more. Yes. I pray one day we rise above it. Whilst you pray, I'll act. We'll see who finds success first. Hmm? It was an expression. Aye. And a dangerous one. Words have power. Wield them wisely. Is he wrong, though? A eh? hate them is preaching. Okay. So let's get out of here. If anything will be the end of humanity, it will be greed. Okay. The church residence. He lives right across the street. Nice. Wonderful. Is he dead? Just kick the door open? Charles? Sir? Kinda disrespectful, but sure. Desperate Seems times. Like we're not the only ones looking for Mr. Church. Damn it, he could be anywhere. Call for what desperate we measures. We find him. Come. 
I'll show you how. Are we gonna like put that somewhere? Eavesdrop on Ben Church's neighbors while hidden. All right, what's going on here? News from France. The French political thinker and writer, the Baron de Montesquieu, has died at the age of 66. Should we write his family, do you think? Not our business to meddle. Even if we've the best of intentions. But if you could have seen it, they were surely drunk carrying on like that, and during the day, no less. It means the target is suspicious. Once it's filled, the meter becomes red and they start. Oh. Okay. Are you going to let me do that? Hostilities increase in the Scandalous behavior. From <laughs> I like how they just stopped talking and stared at me. Like and went right back to it. Such Truly a shameful display. Benjamin's parents would be mortified. Perhaps I should send someone to retrieve him before he damages his reputation beyond repair. They stumbled off to the northeast, no doubt in search of a tavern or some other place of ill repute. Stop I can whistle those on the street. I'm headed for higher ground. I can whistle. Your map and minimap are revealed as you explore your environment. Climb to increase the rate of. Oh, nice. Climb the church and synchronize. I'm discovering the map as I run around, and I thought that was a little bit of an interesting change. This church here? The South Meeting House. Guys, when you go, if you've never been to Boston, you need to go to Boston. Boston is just beautiful. Man, it's if if I could afford it, I'd live there, dude. Seriously, oh, I need to go up. There's two places that I love. One, Boston. Two, Savannah, Georgia. Savannah, Georgia is beautiful. I used to live there. I'm going to retire there for sure. I love the South. Oh, it's B to synchronize. Oh, look at that. Hey, okay, I see you. That man's got balance. With luck, one of those people knows what became of Benjamin. Okay. Oh, that's smooth. That's probably the best leap of faith animation I've ever seen. Finally, they're letting us like actually move around. We're not stuck to the ground anymore. Oh, can I eavesdrop above them? Maybe not. Maybe I should go like here. Don't fall, please. I've asked the priors, but they all plead ignorance. Bugger that! They're lying! Aye. Well, what can I do? Threats light off them, and I'll not deign to grovel. Actions speak louder than words, my friend. Arrest one and put him in stocks. See if he's so glib then. To do so, glib. our cause will set them singing songs about us. Last thing the city needs is town criers complaining about our abuse of authority. And forget it. The crime is done. The killer's gone. Those who know won't share their secrets. If the city wishes to harbor scoundrels, let them pay the price for it. Why is he talking so loud? Hey, did you know we have secrets? We're talking about some top secret information over here. Hopefully nobody here. <laughs> Hopefully nobody hears us. I'm not screaming on the top of my lungs or any or nothing like that. <laughs> that dude is loud, man. Quiet it down a little bit, sir. Shh. 
was spitting in that guy's face. Yo, what is that? Oh, there's a guy over here. Chase the Almanac page? What the heck? I gotta chase that thing? Heck nah, you think I'm gonna chase that? Ooh. Dang. All right, let me try chasing that thing. Oh, it, it's gone. Never mind. Okay, let's try dropping down. Hi. <gasps> run, 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 run. Oh, crap. I failed that one. Crap. That was my bad. There is this to charge, but one way or another, the debt would be. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, this one's moving. Probably looking for a nice, quiet place to do the deed. From what I hear tell, his work usually involves quite a bit of screaming. Which reminds me, we'd best not buy any meat tomorrow. <laughs> Good call, man. I mean, that is nice that there's a circle that you can follow. This, that kind of lets you know, like, hey, this is as far as you can go away from the target. And they waved me away. Insisted it was all under control. How odd. Did they say what had happened? No. Only that it was a trifling matter and he'd be returned home soon. There was some blood, though. So I wonder if it wasn't more serious than they let on. Where were they taking him? Towards the hilltop. Perhaps there's a doctor at the fort. Okay. Well, if we didn't screw up that one, we would have been good. Remain undetected? Oh, there's Charles. What's Be going Charles? on? Charles, we'll have church in no time. Just as I said we would. If I might ask, sir, where did you learn to do all this? It is a requirement when you are raised in the manner that I was. Perception is fundamental to the order. It guides the feet when running and climbing, informs the hands when striking and fighting. But most important, it transforms the senses, and we begin to know the world in a different way. Very well put. Okay, wait, I can't go this way. At least he runs pretty fast, too. I don't think this game's let me down yet so far, guys. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it a lot. The place is well guarded. We need to slip past them. Oh, wait, I can tell him to hide somewhere? Okay, escort missions aren't very easy in games. I'll keep it real. They're not my favorite. Oh, don't shoot nobody. Oh, shoot. Can they see him? Like, will he get me in trouble? Wait, what? No. Oh my God. I was, I was trying to test out how to use the escort. All right. Maybe you wait. Okay. Let's <laughs> let's restart. I'm so confused. I don't really want to kill anybody, but what happens if I kill this guy? 
Can I do that right here? And walk off? Nobody cares? People are working too hard? Makes sense. Seems like Americans to me. All right, let's go this way. Oh, where is he going? What is he doing? Wait. Okay. <laughs> I'll have to find the key. Wait here. All right, we have to pickpocket someone. Oh, we can pickpocket any one of these guys? Remain undetected. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Oh, crap. Let's try to pickpocket this guy over here. He's good. He's just laying down. He's chilling. Oh. <gasps> oh, crap. Okay. I didn't know what I was doing there. Not going to lie. I did not know what I was doing there. Okay. Let's try this again. I totally screwed that up. All right, guys. There's going to be a lot of screw ups in the beginning, but we'll get good. I promise. I just laid him in the bushes here. I didn't even know you could hide in bushes. It's kind of cool. Oh, nice. Oh, that was cool. Okay. Pickpocketing well, seems then. easier. You don't bump into people anymore. You just... Why must you always make these things so difficult, Benjamin? Merely provide me with recompense, and all shall be forgiven. I'll not pay for protection I don't need. Clearly, you do require protection. Else we wouldn't be here. How very gauche. Now, what shall we do about our guest? Maybe. I take his hands. Put an end to his surgery. Maybe. I take his tongue. Put an end to his waggling. Or maybe. I take his cock. Put an end to his fucking us. <laughs> so many options. I can't possibly decide. Take all three. Oh, no. whoa. Hold a moment. Perhaps I was. Hasty in refusing you earlier. I'm so very sorry, Benjamin. But that door has closed. Be reasonable, Silas. I rather think I was. But you took advantage of my oh. generosity. I won't be made a fool a second time. <sighs> I fear I lack the constitution to bear witness to such barbarism. Come find me when you're finished, Cutter. You'll regret this, Silas! Do you hear me? I'll have your head! No. I rather think you won't. <gasps> Ooh. When a man says to cook, sometimes it's just a good idea to bring the ingredients and preheat the oven, right? Like, yikes. Silas Thatcher was the nephew of a well-to-do... London merchant who purchased a commission for him in the British regulars when he was quite young. He was sent to the colonies in 1750, poor man, where he was posted at the defenses along Boston Neck. You won't be surprised to learn that Thatcher had a mean streak. Few men wanted to serve under him, which might be what led to him being posted in Boston in the first place. Living in the colonies was regarded as something akin to exile at the time. Yes, it was. Actually, come to think of it, not much has changed. Funny guy, Sean.
Men who advanced under Thatcher's command were noted for their cruelty, like his personal assistant, Cutter, which even you might have guessed is a nickname, meaning one who likes to cut things, preferably people. Not what I look for in a PA, but there you go. At the time, pay in the army was notoriously bad, and soldiers would often pick up odd jobs in their spare hours to make ends meet. This made them rather unpopular in Boston, where unemployment was rather high. However, Thatcher found something he enjoyed much more, demanding protection money from merchants in Boston. Not only that, but he dabbled in theft, fencing stolen goods, and the slave trade. A real renaissance man, capturing the local indigenous people and selling them off to the highest bidder, which is what he was doing when Haytham found him. Can I whistle? Quiet now. I need to concentrate on me work. Got this guy. I'm proud of Move, 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 move. From here, a little bit from there. Make myself a nice keepsake, I will. Oh! <laughs> who, who are you? Haytham Kenway, at your service. I... I don't understand. Why are you here? Uh, walk with me, Mr. Church, and all will be explained. So can we talk about how a lot of my complaints with the gameplay have been fixed? in this game. There's so much more stealth options. I can whistle. I can duck in a bush. I can hug a wall or corner of a wall. Bruh, come on, man. Come on, man. That's fire. I just wish I could crouch. I guess that's asking for a little too much. You can only crouch into the bush. Okay, so I have to give orphans coins. I will not be doing that. Sorry, Oliver Twist. Uh-oh. I think this guy heard me. I took a bullet to the gut there. Oh. Oof. Okay. Well... That just happened. Um, anyways, let's keep going. <laughs> this is the best Assassin's Creed game. Like, where do you guys? <laughs> Bro, what other games have you have you played where you're in the colonial era beating up Brits? Like, come on, bro. Doesn't happen very often, does it? Anybody from London, no offense. I love you guys. You're amazing. Oh, check you out. Just perched up up there. That's awesome. The American Eagle. America. Who doesn't want to play a game where we're playing in America? And it's not New York for once. We're tired of y'all. We're tired of y'all, you New Yorkers, man. I'm tired of playing games where I'm in New York. I'm over it. Okay. I can have that. I mean, it's not like I don't live in the most overrated state. <laughs> but you see all over media. But New York, ew. Tired of it. It's played out. Hi, puppy. What's going on, Charles? We're just in here getting drunk. <laughs> Americans at their finest. Yeah, he did cut his nose. Johnson's told me what you intend. As it happens, the man who held me is the same one that you seek. His name is Silas Thatcher. That fancy lad is our slaver. Don't let his velvet tongue deceive you. A crueler and more vicious creature I've never known. 
What can you tell me of his operation? He hosts at least a hundred men, more than half of whom are redcoats. All this for some slaves? <laughs> Hardly. The man's a commander in the King's troop, in charge of the Southgate Fort. We need to find a way inside. Hmm, let me think on it. In the meantime, I'll attend to our final recruit. John Pitcairn's our man. I'll take you to him. Do you guys remember when you were a kid and they made us watch those horrible cartoons with like Benjamin Franklin in it and stuff and it taught you the Declaration of Independence? Am I the only one that remembers that? I remember going to school and like sometimes we'd watch those movies. State your business. New recruit. More kindling for the pyre, eh? Well, go on then. How did you manage that? Did you forget, sir? My commission is with General Braddock. When I'm not attending to you, of course. Do they still have that, uh, what was it, Schoolhouse Rock? Where it would be that bill and he'd be like, I'm just a bill. A lonely bill. Something like, I don't remember how the song went. But it told you about the Bill of Rights. Give me one good reason. I shouldn't kill you right now. Were you planning to announce yourself? Or did you hope my men Sir, wouldn't notice your arrival? you'll allow me to explain. Ho, <laughs> ho, by all means. I should like very much to hear this. I have not deserted, sir. I am here under Commander Amherst's orders. Show me a letter bearing his seal, and you might be spared the gallows. I have no such thing. The nature of my work, sir, it's... It's the sort of thing best not put to paper. Hey, them. General Braddock? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Wolves often travel in packs. Master Pitcairn will okay. be here for but a few weeks. I shall return him to his proper post once our work is finished. The devil's work, no doubt. It's bad enough my superiors have insisted. I grant you use of Charles. But they said nothing about this traitor. You'll not have him. Edward, listen to reason. We're done here. See these gentlemen out. Uh-oh. Sure. We'll be back. Well, that didn't go as I expected. And to think I used to call him brother. What now? Well, they'll chase us off if we try and return. We're done with this camp. And as luck would have it, so are they. Come along. He plays with that thing a little too much. What are you planning? To steal Master Pitcairn. What? You'll see. Now. When I give the signal, you're to distract Braddock's patrol and lure them into a dead end. Is he gonna follow me? Yo, look at the little drummers. That's so cool. Where shall we head next? Perhaps down Marlborough? No. Its residents are too content. Their homes are nice. Their days this are is the best mechanic. Yes. Those fresh arrived are often soon in dire straits. They're more likely to seize upon an opportunity to fatten their purses and feed their young. No, no, no. We don't need to do that. Stop. We're good. I can't wait till Charles Lee is gone, bro. <laughs> I really don't like him. Now? Oh, wait. Whoa. I thought you meant now. It was cut. What just happened?
I thought it meant, I thought it meant like, what let's kill him now. To steal Master Pitcan. What? You'll see. <laughs> My bad. Now, when I give the signal, you're to distract Braddock's- I totally forgot about the plan. He's supposed to give him the signal and then Charles Lee goes in front. Oh, okay. All right, this is it. Oh, go, 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 go. Oi! You thieves and scoundrels, one and all! <laughs> Fire on you and your false war! <laughs> <laughs> oh! He threw sh at him! After him! Nice. Okay, we gotta follow him. Hopefully, I didn't just mess up right here. Unhand him, Edward. Uh, you again. Let us go. And John Pitt can with us. <laughs> I will not have my authority challenged. Nor I. Put them all in chains. This guy. Come on, man. Really? Is this... Is this what you really want? Go ahead and stab him. What the... Prevent snitches from calling reinforcements? Well, I just ah. learned about them. How do I... Oh, I see. No, I don't see. Or maybe I do. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I think to lock on, you have to hit LB or L1, depending on what controller you're using. I don't think it's left trigger anymore. I stay my hand today because you were once my brother and a better man than this. Or should our paths ever cross again, all debts will be forgotten. You're free now, John. Traitor! Go on then. Join them on their fool's errand. And when you find yourself lying, I assume broken, you've good reason for causing all this madness. What is it you require of me? I'll explain everything on the way. Okay, we have a bunch of emails. Should I? Should I try killing these guys? Just to like, hold on. See how to play here? I feel like he just automatically goes into, wait, what? Oh no. But then sometimes I feel like he runs away. Like when I'm trying to do a high profile move, I'm so confused. You know what it is? It's me. It's me guys, it's me. I'm messing up. I get it. Okay, break his defense. Nice. Nice. It's me, guys. It was me. Okay, I figured it out. I keep wanting to play this as if it were Assassin's Creed 1, 2, Brotherhood and Revelations, where if you want to counter, you would have to hold the high profile button and then hit the X button, right? In this game, you don't have to do that. You don't have to hold the high profile button at all. You just uh, use B to counter. That's it. All right. I get it now. And I don't think there's a block anymore or a deflect or wait, I think there might be. No, the deflect is holding B. See, so B is everything now. All right. Whew. 
Whew, okay. <laughs> if I may, I was curious about your past with Braddock. You two clearly have a history. Edward was one of us upon a time, and I considered him a close friend. He was brave and bold in ways few men are. But everything changed at the siege of Bergen op Zoom. We had lost the fortress to the French, and were in the midst of egress. There was a skiff hidden at the port with which we planned to make our escape. As we drew near, a young man and his family came upon us, begging for safe passage. I consented, but Edward refused. The young man called him Craven then. So Edward killed him and all the rest. Even the children. To this day, I don't know why. Was this the first time he'd struck out? What the heck? Or had I simply never seen it before? Either way, things were never the same after that. We campaigned together a few more times, but each outing was more disturbing than the last. He killed, killed. Enemy or ally, civilian or soldier, guilty or innocent. That's horrible. It mattered not. If he perceived one to be an obstacle, they died. He maintained that violence was a more efficient solution. It became his mantra. And it broke my heart. Aww. I had no idea. He hides it well and intimidates into silence any who discover him. Those who persist have a tendency to find misfortune. And we should stop him. I suppose you're right. But I maintain a foolish hope that he might yet be saved and brought back round to reason. I know. I know. It's a silly thing to believe that one so drenched in death might suddenly change. I'm sorry to have brought us up. It was not my intent to sour you. Nonsense. We are brothers now. There should be no secrets between us. Aw, oh, I love this guy, man. Atham's awesome. This business with Silas confuses me. If Britain stands any chance of pushing back the French, they must ally with the natives, not enslave them. Silas is loyal only to his purse. That his actions harm the crown is irrelevant. So long as there are buyers for his product, he'll continue to procure it. All the more reason to stop him, then. My days are spent in Congress with the locals, attempting to convince them that we're the ones they should trust, that the French are merely using them as tools to be abandoned. Once they've won, your words must lose their strength when held against the reality of Silas' actions. I've tried to explain that he does not represent us, but he wears the red coat. He commands a fort. I must appear to them either a liar or a fool. Likely both. Take heart, brother. When we deliver them his head, they'll know your words were true. So, a question for you. Why medicine? I'm supposed to tell you I care for my fellow man, right? That I chose this path because it allows me to accomplish a greater good. Are these things not true? Perhaps, but that's not what guided me, no. For me, it was a less abstract thing. I like money. Cornball. There are other paths to fortune. Uh, but what better wear to peddle than life? Nothing else is as precious nor so desperately craved. And no price is too great for the man or woman who fears an abrupt and permanent end. Your words are cruel, Benjamin. Yeah, they are. But true as well. I mean, they're you true, but it's disgusting. People. Did you not? I abide the oath, which makes no mention of price. I merely require compensation, fair compensation, for my services. And if they lack the required funds? Then there are others who will serve them. Does a baker grant free bread to a beggar? Does the tailor offer a dress to the woman who cannot afford to pay? No. Why should I? You said it yourself. Nothing is more precious than life. Okay. Indeed. 
All the more reason one should ensure they have the means to preserve it. And this is why people hate hospitals and doctors and all of that. Okay. Thanks. Any news? Whispers of things. Nothing solid at the moment. I know you're looking for word of anything out of the ordinary. Dealing with temples and spirits and ancient times and whatnot. But so far, can't say my boys have heard much. No trinkets or artifacts being moved through your shadow market? Nothing new. Couple of ill-gotten weapons, some jewelry likely lifted from a living thing. But you said to listen for talk of glows and ums and strange sights, right? And I ain't heard nothing about that. Keep at it. Oh, I will. You done me a great service, mister. And I fully intend to repay my debt. Thrice fold if it pleases. Thank you, Thomas. Place to sleep and meal to eat is thanks enough. Don't you worry. I'll get you sorted soon. I kind of don't like any of these guys other than Haytham. Okay. Gentlemen. I believe I and Charles a Lee to our problem. Or rather, Odysseus has. How do you? Are you a new guy? The Greek hero, you lobcock. <laughs> Allow me to explain. We enter Silas Fort under the pretext of kinship. Once inside, we spring our trap, free the captives, and kill the slaver. <laughs> dodgy, dodgy. I like it. Then, let us begin. First, we need to find ourselves a convoy. I think the voice acting in this game is amazing. Oh, <gasps> she's pretty. We have a native woman. Hello. Convoy should be here soon. We'll attack on my signal. Understood, sir. If we time this right, we can catch them all unawares. Oh, this is going to be good. Can't wait to use that one shot. <laughs> Maybe there'll be a bomb or something around that I can shoot. Actually, that'd be bad because then we would kill the natives. That wouldn't be smart. What the hell is this? A thousand pardons, sirs. Seems we've had ourselves an unhappy little accident. Get it <laughs> sorted and quickly. Of course, my lord. At once. All right, well, I can't shoot those guys over there. I'll try shooting this guy. Here we go. Hurry up now. Here we go. Oh! That was sick. Let's go. His defenses. Ooh. We got them all. We got them all. Charles, you and William serve as vanguard. Let no man reach us. What about me? You and John will follow from a distance and keep watch over us. I'll signal you when I have need of your services. We're here to help you, along with those held inside Southgate Fort. Free me. Not until we're inside the gate. I can't chance an inspection of the gate going wrong. I'll see you safe. You have my word. Is her name 
Panithio? Do you know anything of Silas' operation? French and Indian War! I was just talking about that the other day. You must be rather important to him if you were given your own escort. Sir, we've enemies ahead. Shall I engage them? No. Let Jonathan and Thomas take care of it. As you wish. I wish you'd trust us. Though I suppose it's only natural for you to be wary. Yeah. So of course. Why would she trust you? You got her people in that cage back there. I mean, I know they didn't do it, but you look like the men that did. And you talk like them too. LB to launch the attack. Engage the enemy. Oh. The bayonets are so cool when they're just like, they charge and just stab someone and pick them up. Goddamn dogs. Uh oh. Let no man reach up. Ah. Oh, he had a tomahawk. That was cool. I'm kind of mad he just murdered a dog, though. I mean, he had to, but hey. Aha! Bringing fresh meat, eh? Come here. On your guard, then. Look at your size. Of course. Let's go. That's so cool. Like, clothesline that guy. Word, and I'll cut them down. Me and you. Saw that clothesline? Engage the enemy. Oh my god, I just love the close line. <laughs> the little assassin icons on the map. That's a nice little touch. I feel like we're playing Brotherhood again. Hold. Evening, gentlemen. State your business. Delivery for Silas. Go on then. See, I'm freeing you just as I said I would. Now, if you'll allow me to explain. Yeah, run, girl, run, run. Get up out of here. Let her go. But she'll give us away. No, she won't. No, she won't. What's the plan? Free the captives and avoid detection. What of Silas? He dies. I know when you're ready to strike. Find and kill the general, perform stealth assassinations. From a corner spot. That's my favorite thing to do, actually. This is the Boston Neck. I've heard of this before. I'm glad that they mentioned the French and Indian War, though. That's nice. I was just reading up on it the other day. Yeah. I don't need to do this. Yeah, so this is during the Seven Years' War. So we have to find and kill the general. Free the captives undetected. I'm so on edge right now, guys. Such a shame. The colonies are meant to be an opportunity, not another war front. I don't know what to do. I must say, the weather in Boston is much fairer than back home. Wait oh, crap. 
and see if you still feel the same. Or summer for that matter. The heat is like suffocates a man. I'm just chilling right here. Clearly still for the crime. Too thin when it's cold. Too heavy when it's hot. Oh crap, they're coming over here. Ah! On occasion we'll catch a smuggler trying to ferry contraband in What the? A small fine and stern warning usually sets him right. This AI is stupid. A nice change of pace from the campaigning back then. Why do you think so many of us volunteered? This AI is beyond stupid. A chance to own some land. French would see an end to that. I don't know. It seems to be the north. Sometimes I wonder if it's not we who provoke no. sorties. Ha. That's exactly what they want you to think. Not what I want to do. Such a shame. The colonies are meant to be an opportunity. There's a lot happening right now, guys. The controls are really sticky. It's like one minute you're going this way, and then this way, and then it wants to stick on the wall over there, and then it wants to go in this bush over here, and it's just like figure it out. Oh, I like how they're waiting. Stop slouching, soldier. Big pardon? I said stop slouching. Who are you to tell me what to do? A good friend of Mr. Thatcher. Oh, I, I see. My apologies. Come on. Ah. Uh. Okay, well, I'll take you. <laughs> oh boy. This gameplay is crazy. <laughs> like seriously. Okay, we did enough for the sink. That's what I was aiming for. I like how he just punches it. Hatham's just that cool, man. Who is that over there? We need to find this general. going on with him is your AI good oh crap I was detected well doesn't that suck <laughs> that dude was just like looking he was staring at me like he just didn't know what was happening okay let's try this again Ah, uh, lured the wrong guy. Anybody here? The general? Who is this guy? Oh. Where the heck is the general? None of you guys either? I don't follow. Oh, I think I found him. He's over here. That's the one. That's the very man. Lieutenant Cosgrove, hero of I got him. All right, now I can go back. <laughs> I literally murdered that guy in front of like everyone too.
I'm trying to figure out who the main character is of this game. Because, like, we've been playing as this guy for a long time, man. What's going on with that? A little too long. I mean, I like him, though. I feel cheated. I feel deceived. An hour of quiet was all I asked. Instead, I'm awakened not ten minutes later by this cacophonous madness. I expect an explanation, and it had best be good. How? How did this happen? My precious merchandise set free! It's unacceptable! Rest assured, I'll have the heads of those responsible. But first, first we clean up this mess. Seal the fort, kill any who try to escape. I don't care if they be one of us or one of them. To approach the gate is to be made a corpse. Am I understood? He seems kind of upset. He lost his merchandise. Push them back. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, wait, what? Press A. Oh, that was cool. Ooh. Ooh. Just picking them up. Scooping them up. Stab them up. Stab them up. So I got it. I got to get up to him. So basically, it's like an auto lock on. Did you receive any full B order? Jeez. Fighting skills like these. Dude, the way you stab people with your hidden blade is so cool now. Oh, whoa. Okay. Apparently they shot me. <laughs> I didn't see it. Oh, I know why I'm not seeing it. It's because... I'm hitting A. What the heck? Whatever. It's because I turned the indicator off. Grab somebody. Oh, okay. I'm hitting the button and everything and he's not grabbing him. Jeez. Oh my God. That is nuts. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh my God, he's so cool. Ah! <laughs> this is so insane, dude. Did I just hit him over that? That was cool. Right now, this is just me practicing the combat. I'll be honest. That's why I'm just kind of doing my thing here. Oh. Jeez. <laughs> the way he just. Who are you? James Hayden Kenway. You don't know me, but I believe the two of you are well acquainted. I made a promise to you, Silas. Yikes. I intend to keep. Okay. He didn't think twice about that. That was personal. Okay. You stared a little too long. What happens now? We wait. But not for very long, I suspect.
That was cool. I think I'm getting the hang of the combat though. I'm a little upset that like I wasn't able to grab people for the human shield. Like I'm hitting A and like I saw him go to grab someone at first, but it's like the animation didn't follow through. I don't know. And I kept doing it. It's been but... several weeks now since we freed the Mohawk prisoners from captivity. I had hoped their leader might make contact, but there's been only silence. My men grow restless. They want to know what comes next. And I do not have an answer. Lee alone remains active, pursuing leads, however slight. He stalks the city streets and scouts the bordering woods, hopeful that he might make contact with one of those we saved. There was a woman there that night. It was she who helped the others to safety. If we can find her, I believe I'll have my answers. So, I watch and wait, hopeful that my true mission might finally begin. How are we on sequence three and I'm still playing as this guy? What is it building up to? This is wild. Oh, they brought kill streaks back. Yeah, I kind of noticed that. Glad that it told me about it. Maybe I should go check some emails. Leave the animus. Because I've gotten a lot of emails since I've been in here, so... Hold on. I could probably talk to everyone, too. Yes? Just thought I'd, you know, say hi. You have more important things to do right now. Jesus, Dad. What? What do you want me to say? I don't know. Hi, son. How are you? What have you been up to? I know what you've been up to. Nothing. You wasted away in some shitty apartment with a pointless job, while the rest of us were out there fighting to make a difference. You are such an asshole. Are you thinking about hitting me again? Because this time, I will hit back. Dang. Let's just get back to work, okay? Not only did Desmond have a horrible father, but Subject 16 did too. His, his dad was pretty horrible to him and was saying things kind of similar. What are you working on? Lots of different stuff. If you're going into the field, we need a way to keep tabs on you and stay in touch. Hacking into local security systems won't cut it. Thanks. For what? I don't know. Everything. You've sacrificed a lot for me. You and Sean both. I mean, you upgraded the Animus, you helped train me, pulled me out of that coma. You put all that work into the database and helped me solve Clay's puzzles. I know I haven't been the easiest person to work with, and I'm sorry for that. I just want you to know that even if I'm shitty at showing it, I appreciate everything you've done. Oh, I love that. You really think we'll finally get some answers down here? Maybe. Talking to the first Civ has always been a pain in the ass, though. Imagine what it must be like for them. What do you mean? They've been separated from us by tens of thousands of years. A completely different language and culture. Possessed of an intelligence vastly superior to our own. We're lucky they've communicated as much as they have. I don't know why they had to make this all so complicated. I mean, if they need something from me, they should just come out and say it. I've been wondering about that myself. I get the sense Juno and Minerva didn't exactly see eye to eye. Mm. I'm studying everything I can get my hands on. But maybe you'll find something down here that can shed light on the mystery. What happened between them and why? Okay. What are you doing over here, Sean? Oh no, that's uh... That's William. Sean's over here, I think. Would you look at that? What is it? If I had to guess, I subtitles would say are bugging out. And judging from the iconography, 
I think it's safe to say when that's emptied, the end begins. Hon honest answer, please, Desmond. Do you think we're getting out of this alive? I don't know. I mean, it's a pretty tall order. If the first Civ couldn't save the world, how the hell are we supposed to swing it? We have some time. We have less than two months. They had decades and a lot more resources. And the worst part is we knew this was coming for, what, hundreds of years? History repeats, it seems. The first Civ was so busy with their war against us, no one even noticed what was happening. We get advance warning and then fall to fighting with the Templars. Lovely. Right. Hopefully, whatever's behind that door will make a difference. And if it doesn't, well, at least we tried. That's a good way to think about it. All right, let me see if I can go on the laptop over here. There's a few laptops. Can I use any of these? What do you think's behind that door? No idea. Do you think it can save us? The first Civ seemed to think so. What if it's dangerous? It's not like we have a lot of alternatives. Well, we could... I don't know, warn the president? And what's he gonna do? Who's to say he isn't in bed with Abstergo? <laughs> oh, Seems true. everyone is these days. What if we went to them? To Abstergo, I mean. I thought about it, actually. Showing them what we've seen, trying to work together. They must know so much more than we do, but... What That'll if never happen. It's possible they know exactly what's going to happen. That they want it to happen. I mean, for all we know, they're hiding out in bunkers right now, waiting for the world to end. And then, when it's all over, out they come. Ready to take control. God, I hope you're wrong. So do I, Rebecca. So do I. I think he might be right. Which laptop? Oh, what? That just put me back in here? I don't know. I looked everywhere for the laptop. I couldn't find it. So if you guys could help me in the comment section, I would truly appreciate it. I literally walked up to every computer and it wouldn't let me interact with any of them. Hello, Charles. Any luck finding a mystery woman? Word is she's been stirring up trouble just outside the city in a town called Lexington. Well, then that's where we begin our search. I'll meet you there. Lexington. Should I use my horse? They changed a lot of the controls. I feel like in some ways I'm relearning this game. Is this Lexington all the way out here? Oh my God, look how fast we are. Wait, you can fast travel between cities? Whoa, main mission. I had no idea. That's cool. No more going into tunnels. Hunting region. Did I just kill that rabbit? I did. Let me reload. Can I eat it? When did this turn into Red Dead Redemption? I just straight up killed that rabbit. I couldn't eat it though. I keep forgetting that's eagle sense. I'm gonna go ahead and steal this horse. Oh, cool. Whoa, look at all the wildlife. That's insane. Horses have stamina? I 
I will say the horse riding is very detailed. It feels really good. Have you found her? Uh, she's made camp not too far from here. Excellent. Well, the sooner we're done, the sooner we can get out of this cold. <laughs> I feel bad for him. I am afraid I have some bad news, sir. Oh? Braddock is insisting I return to service under him. I've tried to beg off to no avail. No doubt he's still angry about losing Pitcairn. To say nothing of the shaming we gave him. Do as he asks. In the meantime, I'll work on having you released. I'm sorry for the trouble. Not your fault. Look at all this snow, guys. Have we ever seen snow? Maybe in the first game. Towards the end. We're too late. Fire's only just been snuffed. Snow recently disturbed. She's close. Listen to Bullocks. the music. Bollocks. <laughs> Tracks are fresh. It must be hers. Seems she took to higher ground. Out Whoa. of the snow and into the trees. When you run into the deep snow, it's so cool. Am I going on the right trail here? I hope. Oh yeah, there she is. Ah, uh, she's making a trap for hunting. Oh, the wolves. We're going to have to save her? Oh, damn it. Wait, come back. I mean, that was kind of a good move. To return to Braddock, Charles, before he grows suspicious. I can handle things from here. But, sir. But nothing. Go! Stop running! I only wish to talk! I am not your enemy! She doesn't know that? Please just hear me out! Oh, she's oh, in the woman. trees? Look at her! Only let me speak! Uh oh. Oh, God. Whoa. Ooh. Uh oh. Got him. Any other ones? No. Where did she go? What's oh, another wolf? Oh, wait, up there? Actually, I don't think so. Sorry. Oh, there's another wolf. Uh oh. Oh, she's in the trees. Oh, my God. You really? Try my patience, woman. Okay. I can't get up there like that. Look at that. Look at her. Jeez. Can I jump? Oh, I can. Oh, I fell. Oh, oh my God. What the? No good. No good. No good. Are you touched in the head? Me. <laughs> hey, from... I come in peace. <laughs> Why are you speaking so slow? <sighs> Sorry. What do you want? <laughs> well, your name. What do you want, dude? 
time and God's eat Zio. But please to meet you. God, God's day. Just call me Zio. Dio. Zio. Zio. Now tell me why it is you're here. Where did you get this? From an old friend. I've only seen such markings in one other place. Where? Well, it is forbidden for me to speak of it. I saved your people. Does this mean nothing to you? Look. Boy. I am not the enemy. You might be. Close to here, there is a hill. Meet me there, and we'll see if you speak the truth. She like him? She kind of smiling. That town hosts soldiers who seek to drive my people from these lands. They're led by a man known as the Bulldog. Edward Braddock. You know him? He is no friend of mine. Every day, more of my people are lost to men like him. Then I suggest we put a stop to it. Together. What do you propose? That we kill Edward Braddock. But first, we have to find him. They were kind of cooking with the native music and the representation. Okay, let's learn about her. Zio. Zio was a member of the Kanian nation living on the frontier lands near Boston at the time of the French and Indian War. Assassin records indicate she was the daughter of the Ikoa or clan mother and from an early age was being groomed for leadership herself. While many in her community chose to ignore the incursions by colonists into the area and growing tensions between the French and British, Zio was convinced that they presented a very real danger. She began to argue to anyone who would listen that the village should take action rather than staying silent, which was contrary to the will of the clan chiefs at the time. They refused to follow their orders to remain neutral, deciding to fight back in her own way and recruiting help where she could get it, including from Haytham Kenway. She was smart. I don't trust you. I know. Yet you remain. That I might prove you wrong. It will not happen. So you say. So I know. Yet, I remain. <laughs> I love the banter. Oh, he's in here, huh? The right chaffer. A Mohawk man is likely to raise suspicions, if not muskets. This is hardly the first time I've been amongst your people. I can handle myself. Dang, I like her. I hope so. I like how she's just standing right there. You tell the French you're ready to move on our positions. Wonder what Braddock intends to do about it. He's already left for the advance camp. I'll wager our little holiday here is just about ended. We'll be marching south before weeks end. Okay. Maybe I need to stand right here. Stand being quartered there. The endless crashing of the waves, the sting of the salt in the eyes, and the goddamn gulls shrieking and shitting everywhere. You're sure <laughs> that's where we're going? Aye. The bulldogs putting together another expedition. That's what they're calling them now. Expeditions. Aye. Smart too. Slap a fancy name on something and all evil is excused. Axe. Oh, she just pushed me. Oi. Where are you going, Cully? Me? No, the other cock robin. Well, I, uh, I was leaving. Oh, and now? Well, now, I'm going to feed you your teeth. <laughs> and you were worried I was going to be the problem? Right.
Let's get them. Let's slap them around. We got tables about. Oh, oh, I'm eating those. Okay. a WWE match up in here. It's a tables match. What a ladder is that? I can't believe there's breakable objects in this game. That's cool. You're hurt. Oh, that's nothing. Here. I should stop the bleeding. Aw, that's cute. That wasn't necessary. But thank you. We should move on. Meet me at Braddock's camp when you're ready. Okay, since we keep bringing up WWE and such, you know what this guy reminds me of? If you're a WWE fan, you know who I'm talking about. JBL. JBL, when he had, when he turned heel. And he had like the cowboy. He was a Texas man. And he'd come out with that that stupid theme song that I hated so much when I was younger. Here, <laughs> I freaking hated that song when I was younger, man. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna stop nerding out about WWE. I do watch WWE in my uh, free time this day um i need to go that way do i the map oh is it here oh, okay i just need to go there i need a horse okay so i don't need a fast travel there i need to get a horse Oh my god, we barely moved and you're already huffing and puffing? Boy. Come on. Get to moving, get to moving, get to moving. I swear, every game we've played so far makes me want to play Red Dead Redemption 2 so bad. I'm going to play that freaking game one day. I'm going to beat it. I'm tired of looking at that game and not playing it. Oh my god. A horse just hopped right over the river. No? Can you not can you not swim? Man. I don't need you. I don't need you. You can't call your horse like you could in the last game? Or in all of the games? Check these guys out. They're just out in the wilderness like this. Hey, Bambi, move. Fight him, fight him. I choked him out in front of his boys. I need to get practicing. Get him. Oh my God. Wowzers. That is, that is crazy. I can shoot? This game gets better and better. Oh, don't let him do that. We need to talk. We need to talk about how ridiculous this game is. This game is ridiculous. It is nuts. A game shouldn't be this cool. It should be illegal for a game to be this awesome. Seriously. This map is pretty big too. I wasn't expecting this map to be this big. Zio, I went through trials and tribulations, girl. What are we doing? 
Use the snowstorm to mask your approach. Having second thoughts? No. Hardly. But I'll have to approach this carefully. Go on then. I'll keep watch from here. Her voice sounds familiar. Do not kill any guards using a weapon. Hmm. I can hide in that cart. No way. Ow. What's in the wagon? I need a full inventory. As you wish. Uh, let's see. Two barrels of salt, 12 pounds of pork, 10 pounds of beef, 7 dozen eggs, 16 wheels of cheese. None of it French, don't worry. Five bottles of whiskey, a couple dozen new uniforms, boots, and leather for patching, blankets to cart feed for the horses. What else? That's it. That's all there is. Dang. He knew all of that on the top of his head? He didn't write it down? Those cannons are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. Alright, we need to get to a good spot first. Maybe I could just choke this guy out and not kill him. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Good news. General Braddock refused the offer. There will be no truce. Damn it! Why, George? What reason did he give? He said a diplomatic solution was no solution at all. That allowing the French That's my boy! would only delay an inevitable conflict, one in which they now have the upper hand. There's merit to those words, as much as I hate to admit it. Still, can't he see this is unwise? It doesn't fit well with me either. We're far from home with our forces divided. Worse, I fear Braddock's bloodlust makes him careless. It puts the men at risk. I'd rather not be delivering grim news to mothers and widows because the bulldog wanted to prove a point. Oh, crap. They almost saw me. George Washington almost saw me, guys. I need to get his autograph. Did they see me or what? Did I just mess the game up? Okay. Where is the general now? Rallying the troops. And then it's on to Fort Duquesne, I assume? Eventually. The march north will surely take time. There's a copy of the plans in the command tent should you wish to review them. At least this will be ended soon. I tried, John. I know, my friend. I know. That map will surely be of use. I need to find it. Where are the cannons? You mentioned cannons earlier. Are they? Uh-oh. Oh, I think they're this way. Oh, crap. This guy straight up just saw me. Dang it. Okay, I thought I was just going to hop in that bush and it, things were just going to be good. But uh, it didn't work out that way. Okay, let's try this again. Let me whistle for this guy. Get him. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, we should be able to take this guy out. Got him. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Go ahead and 
Get rid of this. Can I choke out George Washington? That'd be hilarious. I mean, we might have to, though. I don't know if he's going to see me. Oh. Well, there's a guy down there. Hold on. Uh, I think we're good. Yeah, no one sees me or hears me. Cool. Alright, we did all the can uh, cannons. So we don't... Oh, don't go up there. George is up there. I'm going to try to just run right past them. Perfect. Right, let's take the map. Escape the fort. Wish me luck. Uh, What's the best way, to be honest? Can I hop back in here? Oh. That's not going to work. This might be the best way because I think I only see one guard this way. Yeah. Nice. Go, 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 go. Nice. All right, Zio's over there. So we got to go that way. Hopefully nobody sees or hears me. I don't think so. Oh, look at the little rabbits. I wish you could skin them. And eat them. They gotta have a barter system in this game, right? I mean, they do have trading posts. What news? Radicus left to rally his troops. They're marching on Fort Duquesne. It'll be a while yet till they're ready, which gives us time to form a plan. No need. We will ambush him here near the river. Go and gather your allies. I will do the same. I will send word when it is time to strike. Okay, we're getting full sinks though. I'm all the way out here though. Uh, yeah. Can I just? Can I? Can you just fast travel me there? That's far. I don't have a horse or anything. Okay, guys, I literally ran all the way back here. I literally ran all the way back here. Five months later. The cold, cold ground. Here, here. Ah. <laughs> Hard at work, I see. How did you? <laughs> it is time. We've set up camp to the north. Meet me there. Gentlemen. Let us away. Women know where to find you. Let me tell you. First it was too cold. Now it's too goddamn hot. And humid too. It's a right swamp, I tell you. Uh, to say nothing of the mosquitoes. Warm weather and bugs are soon to be the least of our worries. What? You mean the bulldog? <laughs> Please. 
We'll be in that one's beef soon enough and on to the next. Where's your boy Lee gone off to? He's a general now. He's to finish out his service under Braddock. I imagine the Bulldog's none too pleased after the stunt we pulled. Please to spin a tale of my incompetence and beg forgiveness. He is away with words, especially when it comes to flattery. I expect he'll be welcomed back with open arms. Which would give us a man inside. Precisely. I see you've been busy. All these men are from many different tribes. United in their desire to see Braddock sent away. Oh my god. The Abenaki, the Lenape, the Shawnee. The Shawnee. And you? Who do you stand for? Myself. As you should. What would you have me do? Will you help the others to prepare? Follow. They come. Everything all right, sir? Just savoring the moment. No doubt, many wonder why it is we've pushed so far west. These are wild lands as yet untamed and unsettled. But it shall not always be so. In time, our holdings will no longer suffice. And that day is closer than you think. We must ensure our people have ample room to grow and further prosper. Which means we need more land. The French understand this and endeavor to prevent such growth. They skirt around our territory, erecting forts and forging alliances, awaiting the day they might strangle us with the noose they've built. This must not come to pass. We must sever the cord and send them back. This is why we ride, to offer them one last chance. The French will leave, or they will die. Now's the time to strike. Wait. To scatter the expedition is not enough. We must ensure that Braddock falls, else he's sure to try again. I'll disguise myself as one of his own and make my way to his side. Your ambush will provide the perfect cover for me to deliver the killing blow. Oh, I like that. I can learn about the Abenaki. We await your signal. There, in front of us. You know I'm about to read that stuff soon. I'm going to read most of it off screen, though. Huh? Oh crap, no. Why did you do that? Okay, screw it. Kill them! Get him, get him, get him, get him. Cut him up, cut him up, cut him up, gentlemen. I'm like totally here. Pack the cart too high. The ground is uneven. It's dangerous. Hidden. One false move and the whole thing is sure to fall. Look how my clothes are wet. That's so cool. With a French pushback, there'll be a lot of opportunities for us up north. This is 
is so cool. Have served, you mean, sir? You are grateful to have served. General! Oh my god. It's over. Edward. Not so fun on the other end of the barrel, is it? Look out! We got him, boys. Sir. Where are you off to, Edward? What the heck? Destroy powder cart. Oh. Hold on. Let me reload. I totally messed that up. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Shoot. Nice. Reload. 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 I don't think you can go very fast while you're reloading. Unfortunately. Shoot. Are you reloaded? You ready? Oh, there's another one. Shoot it. Cool. Oh, look at all the natives. They're ready to go. Oh, this guy's cooked. Get him, get him, get him. Yes. Now it's over. I never took you for a coward, Edward. Come on, then. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Such arrogance. I always knew it would be the end of you. Is the end of you. George, why? <gasps> Don't. Hurry before he gets away. Stop toying with this guy I and just go. kill him. Keeps toying with him, Edward. And let me talk to you. No, just kill him. I don't deserve this. Stop being so cocky. You're a hypocrite, Atham. I'm sorry, Edward. But you forced my hand. Hey, look how they're running. I'm coming, boy. I'm coming. Ooh. That was hilarious. I just love how he ran there. Why, Haytham? Your death opens a door. It's nothing personal. Well, maybe it is a little personal. Been a pain in my ass after all. But we are brothers in arms. Once, perhaps. No longer. Do you think I've forgotten what you did? All those innocents slaughtered, and for what? It does not engender peace to cut your way to resolution. Wrong. Whether we applied the sword more liberally and more often, the world would be a better place than it is today. In this instance, I concur. Farewell, Edward. Oh, look at that ring. He just took it. It's done. Now I've upheld my part of the bargain. I expect that you will honor yours. Follow me. What does that mean? Oh yeah, she's gonna take us to the uh the cave. No. Trying to figure out if this guy's good or not. No. Doesn't have the apple.
You seem disappointed. I thought that I held a key that would open something here. This room is all there is. I expected more. It happens. What does mean? It tells the story of Yotzitzizu. Who came into their world and shaped it for what life might come. She had a hard journey. Fraught with great loss and peril. But she believed in her children and what they might achieve. And though she is long gone from the physical world, her eyes still watch over us. Her ears still hear our words. Her hands still guide us. And her love still gives us strength. You have shown me great kindness, dear. Thank you. I... I should go. a lot of questions not sure if i'm gonna get any answers to those questions but i guess we should continue playing what the heck master kenway did you find it then it was not the right place this was but a few days later for you Gentlemen, please sit. I fear our temple was no more than a painted cave. Although it did contain precursor images and script, which means we are close. Not close enough, it seems. We need to redouble our efforts and expand our order and establish a permanent base here. Although the sight eludes us, I am confident we will find it. Truth. Hear, hear. Furthermore, I believe it is time we welcome Charles into our fold. He has proven himself a loyal disciple and served unerringly since the day he came to us. He should be able to share in our knowledge and reap all the benefits that such a gift implies. Who's going to be an assassin? Are any opposed? Very well. These guys Charles, aren't good, though. Come. How can they be assassins? That one doctor was talking about how he likes making money. Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order and all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets nor divulge the true nature of our work. I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost. I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. Together. Cut his we finger will off. In the dawn of a new world, one defined by purpose and order. Give me your hand. Wait, what? You are a Templar. May the Father of Understanding guide us. I was playing as a Templar this whole time. As soon as he said "New Wait, World Order," what? Even Desmond said what? What the f I was I'm what he what is what? But his morals were kinda assassin like. The the only guy that was sus was the doctor. But I did say well, I don't know. They you didn't all, all seem that, right? sus. Wow. Well indeed. The key must be the amulet Haytham took from London. We might know what it looks like, but we're no closer to finding it. Desmond, you need to keep going. Hey, he's your ancestor too. Why don't you hop in the Animus? Really? That's right. your response? It's like dealing with a six-year-old. 
What is wrong with you, Desmond? Are we... You want to know what's wrong? I'm sick of being treated like I'm not even here. Desmond, do this. Desmond, do that. Desmond, you better figure things out because the sun is going to turn us all to ash. And I know I was really nice to you, but actually I'm just another Templar plot twist. And yes, I would like very much for you to be controlled by a magic space wizard so that you can murder me. So there's your answer. I'm sick of being a goddamn pawn. I thought it might be different with you. I mean, you're my father, but it turns out you're no better than the fucking Templars. <clears throat> Oh. Don't ever equate me to those bastards again. You hear me? Everything I do, everything I have done, has been for you. Maybe I pushed a little too hard, asked a little too much, but try and remember exactly what's at stake here. You need to get it together, kid. We're running out of right. time. Right, was unusual. Well, I'm just going to pretend that this never happened and get back to bringing everyone up to speed on where we stand. The news isn't good. It appears this temple is powered by a collection of, um, well, I guess they're batteries. You found one on your way in, but there aren't any more. What about the Templars? I've been playing as Templars for the past three hours. Any idea on where we can find replacements? Not yet, so I intend to tiptoe into the Abstergo database. Now, if I can cross-reference these particular devices with their database, then maybe we'll get lucky. See what you can do. Obviously. Anyway, Desmond, we can either take a look around here or we can head back to the Animus. I've been playing as a Templar for the past three hours and we're just going to brush over that? We're not going to talk about that? I think it needs to be... Is this the computer? No, it put me back in the dang Animus. <sighs> All right, here goes. That is not what I wanted to do. Undan Nizero had stunned you. What? And then he entered the world. Wait, she had a baby with Haytham? Is anybody going to explain what the f is going on? For the past like 10 minutes? Desmond gets punched by his father. I found out I'm playing as a Templar. Charles Lee is a Templar? I got a headache. I got a massive headache. Hold on. And then this girl's having a baby with Haytham? Is it one day stuff? Hmm. Oni Sajerha. How it was Nexi Dosa is it not Gahonda di Yahaze? Erda is the way. Do you know what? So, the assassin that I'm supposed to be playing as is the son of Haytham and a native. So he's not a full native. So he's like me. He's he's biracial. What the actual? Dude, this is crazy. Stop wasting time. Clock's ticking, Desmond. Okay, why do we have such daddy issues? Okay, my head hurts. So this was a very entertaining episode. I enjoyed what I played and that plot twist was insane. What the heck is going on in Assassin's Creed 3? Why did they hit us with such a hard plot twist like that? And it was long too. It was like four hours of the game. Really? 
hit that like button if you enjoyed the video i really appreciate you guys we will get to the next part as soon as possible i want to see what happens next this is crazy have an amazing day deuces hope will never die Orale.